Welcome to the Kai First channel. Now, I celebrate subscriber milestones properly with a huge firework experiment. In the past, I've ridden a bicycle, let a thousand rockets off at once. We've had huge fire tornadoes, amongst other things. But what I want to do for six million is I want to combine my two favourite ones together. Yes, the 5,000 shot Death Star, which was like a huge ball of fireworks on the top of a JCB. And then I let 300 rockets off out the back of my truck. That was for one million subscribers. So, we're going to bodge these two together to create the ultimate explosion of light. Come here, I will show you what I'm going to do. Or I'm going to draw it first. Oh, okie dokie, this is the plan. Now, hoist it up on a JCB as before. We're going to build this. It's going to be a big ring. It's going to be covered in mesh. And then there's going to be another ring underneath it, smaller one. And then we're going to get rockets, slide them through the mesh, down into the lower ring. <laughs> if you wonder where I get all my fireworks from, I get them from Epic Fireworks. So that's going to be like that. Now, there's probably going to be about 600 of them. So it's going to be, you know, like a massive mushroom bouquet of rockets. And then we need to figure out a way how we can light them all in unison. And then whether they disappear off into the sky or, or explode right next to each other, right on the end of the JCB, we'll see. Yeah, so we need to build a circular table of thing with a load of mesh and then something that we can fire up so it can be like... <laughs> And it all disappear. Right, Q Bill Montage. This is Rick. He is operating the bender. Now, the original plan was for a two metre circle, but what do we have? 196 that way, and then across here, 186. So, let's measure the circumference, find out what it should be, and then we can cut some little crossy bits. Yes! Potpourri, Rodney, potpourri! Six metres, seven centimetres. Divided by 3.142. Get the old chicken calculus in mid da 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 193, that's what we need. Yeah, we just put this over here, I think. So, got the top ring, we've got our lower ring. Separate them off with some lovely pieces of steel. Then we've got to put some uh, pallet tines in it so uh, Tom can lift it up with the old telehandler. And then cover it in mesh. Simples. Now, the one thing we learned from the Death Star, fireworks are heavy. Well, when you've got like 700 of them. see any fit in a quarter so we know how much we need for the whole thing and also how we're actually going to stack up so we're making this up as we go along remember. right got a quarter of it filled it's look oh! it fell over <laughs> Anyway, what I was going to say, got a quarter of it filled, it looks brilliant. Now we just need to, uh, we're going to put a little bit of Hessian sack across the uh, mesh. We're going to soak that in two stroke petrol because we don't know how we're going to get all these lit because they're so tightly bound. We think the centre ones are going to get lit really well, but we're not sure on the outer one. Rock science, rock science, rock science. 
Sacking's not going to work. Right, let's get it on the forklift, lift it up, see what it looks like, and then I think we'll take all the fireworks off and test the flame bar. Of it, we got a slight nervous feeling of like what's going to get destroyed, what we're going to set fire to, and where on earth do you stand? That's the sign of a good project. That flame chucker has loads of power. So I've distributed it more evenly and see if we can just light it all with that. Yes, Colin, see if it works. Yeah. Three, two, one. That's how to do it. That's gonna light them all, isn't it? Three, two, one, first. Now the thing we have to consider is wind, because obviously when this is right up on the telehandler, if it's slightly windy, it's just gonna blow those flames out. So, if there's only one of those lit, will it all still go up, or do we have to make sure that everything's burning? Test number 75. Two, one. Right, that's gonna light it. Now, I wanted to start the event by sending a rocket up a rope. So let's kind of set that up and just see how that's gonna work. Right. So, plastic pipe that's a lot longer, therefore a bit heavier, more resistant. Beautiful. Right, I think we're about there. I've just got one more thing that we need to check. A very strange issue we're having to deal with. We've had a heat wave in the UK and everywhere is very dry. So it's kind of thinking if we're gonna let like 300 odd rockets off, are we gonna set fire to Lincolnshire? So to test, we're gonna go and try and set fire to Lincolnshire. And if it does, we know we're definitely gonna set fire to Lincolnshire. Hey eh, Rick? Yeah. Rick. Oh, hello, Tom. Hello, Colin. <laughs> How are you doing? Is that super, Tom? I'm gonna go set some fireworks off, so I'll see you soon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my location on top of this hill. Yay! It's very nice. It's quite green, which is a good sign, but there are little dry patches and you never know what is in this grass. So can we set fire to it? Well, as far as tests go, that's pretty good. There was a couple of, yes. Go on, Tom, go on, Tom, torch it! Well, it does burn, but... Not very fast. It's not uncontrollable, I'd say, is it? No. If we, if we get that and go and tie it to something a bit heavier. Let's we'll tape it to a thistle. <laughs> yeah, it tape it to a thistle, that can't be failed. <laughs> I think that's a very good experiment. I think we're okay. I don't think we are going to set Lincolnshire on fire. We have a plan. I think it's going to be between 600 and 700 rockets to fill the whole cage. Subscribe. Notifications on. You cannot miss this. Am I going to set fire to Lincolnshire? Where am I going to stand when it all goes off? Is the JCB going to catch fire? We don't know. It's pure first madness. Bring it on.